Hi everyone, what's going on guys? This is Pixel Retouch Academy. Welcome back to the channel. Well, if you're actually looking for a place to elevate your photo editing game, you are actually in the right place because today I'm excited to introduce a powerful photo retouching plugin for Photoshop that can be downloaded for free. You know, yeah, you heard me right. This amazing tool will transform your editing process to help you achieve stunning results in no time. I mean, in less than 10 seconds, you actually retouch a photo and it's going to give you like a pro result. You know, um, the download link is in the description below, so you make sure to grab it. Okay. So, but one thing to note as you download that plugin, keep in mind that the file comes with a password for installation. So don't worry, I'm going to reveal that password later in the video. So stick around, make sure you watch to the end so that you know how this file function. Okay, so um, before we dive right in, I just want to reassure you that the video adheres to all community guidelines so you can watch and learn without any worries. Let's get started and unlock your creativity or unlock your creative potential with this fantastic tool. All right, so uh, I have a couple of image. I'm going to be trying it on. Um, we have three. And before that, the name of the plugin is FR2. I've actually talked about it in my previous video. So now the FR2 plugins, let's open up. This is how it looks, the interface. We have the stats plus zoom, and we also have the retouch control. We have the texture control. We have the edit surface, show max, edit max, dodge and bone, and the dodge and bone control is seen uh, under this dodge and bone, which we have all this slider. And then we have to close in button, whereby when we're done with all of these settings, we press finish or plus black and white max. Uh, we press close so whichever one you want to hand it with so we're going to dive right into it so i'm just going to show you the basic level and then we'll, maybe in a previous in the video to come we're going to talk about the edit surface and show max and edit max but don't keep in mind that this is what is going to happen um, under the texture control all right so this is how to use the plugin first of all get your image any of the image with a portrait or um, full portrait whichever one is actually going to do the job and you know in less than 10 seconds okay so now here's what you're gonna do you don't start with the start or zoom this is when you're you're true with all of the settings so retouch control I'm just gonna take up the slider and take it up this controls the retouching well if you want it medium if you want it ash if you want it warm if you want that's what it does so if you leave it at this it's gonna give you the way the image is so I advise you to take it up now, once you take it up, I like taking it somewhere around 74. To get a natural look, you can you know, leave it somewhere around this side. But I want to emphasize it so you see how the plugin works. So let's take it up. Now, this is texture control. You know what texture is. When doing frequency separation, we have texture. We have you know, the colors. Yeah, all image has that. So if you want more texture, you can take it up. So somewhere at 109, so you see what it does. You can actually try it out for yourself. But for this image, I'm just going to do it like this. Now, you can notice all of all of these in a, on our body. We have all the spots and the way the air is. Just take note of that so that once we start using the plugin, you know the difference anyway. So we can actually turn it off and on. Now, we're not going to use the edit surface blur, the show marks, the edit marks. We can actually do that only when we use the close button. So all of this can be edited. But if you don't, if you don't want to edit all of this, you can actually use this one finish plus blade w mask so but because i'm going to edit inside i'm going to leave all this and i'm going to come to dodge and burn so you can turn it off and on if you want to do your dodge and burn manually you can actually do it if you want to do the, let the plugin do your dodge and burn you can turn it on now once i turn it on you have to control the opacity the blurs and the contours you know what the contour is the way the shape of the nose the tip of the nose is the contour the you no know, those highlights are the contour so i'm just going to take this one the opacity i want to emphasize it so i'm going to take it up the blurs as well i'm going to take it all the way up somewhere around there so um you can leave it in, at on the initial value doesn't matter so now i'm not going to click all of this this is when you after you finish pressing start so once i click start and the plugin does what it do you're going to come here and either hit finish or close so if you want to rasterize results you press finish if you want um if you don't want to rasterize or you want the one you can actually edit you press close so let's start now it does not take time in less than 10 seconds we're done so let's count one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, extra two seconds anyway well and you know 10 seconds depends on the image now let's take a look at it if I press this it's gonna turn this to a smart object meaning I just want the value the way it is if I press close I just want it to leave it in this so I can go inside now before that let's look at what the plugin did before after just take a look at it amazing right before after Let's take it up. See? Before, after. Before, after. How many plugins will you see do all, all of this? You know, it's actually very, very good for you no know, retouching. Now, we can go inside. Just because I press the close button, you know, we can go inside and edit. Because all are in smart objects, created in smart objects, you can actually click in. But I won't advise you because I know the plugin will already do the job for you. Everything you need to know how the plugin works. Now, one thing I want to show you is if you 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 can take a look at the air and you see that oh it's lost texture and all of that. It's you don't have to worry about that. No, take a look at the way the hair right here is. So see now let's say we want to hide it. We want some of the marks or we want some of the things to show yeah you can actually do that but i'm going to show you what is visible now if i turn off this layer you're going to see the before and after what if i turn off the one below you're going to see the adjustment the plugin made look at the adjustment it made now let's say we want this lips back you know i'm just going to create a mask on it and remove that so take this one make it smaller make sure the foreground color is black and i'm just going to remove this from the lips because I want the lips back then whichever one you want you can actually do that if you want the hair back you can take it you can even turn it on while doing all of all those you know taking the hair back so that's how the plugin is very very interesting look at just take a look at our before and after so we're going to try it out on another image this is actually amazing so but you can if you're not pleased with it you can actually you know decrease your opacity to bring back me whatever you feel like it's actually missing so but for me i love it like this somewhere around 97 it's okay for me and you can make further adjustment out just by creating a stamp visible layer and then you can adjust to whatever you want to adjust maybe clean the air or just you know retouch a little bit or you can just leave it at your final it depends on your preference anyway so take a look at how this smooth how smooth the skin is uh let's go to the other image and we're going to try out this image now and see how it works so i'm going to bring up the fr2 plugin and then we're going to look at it so here's the fr2 plugin up and like i said i'm going to emphasize it so let's take it all the way up the retouch control remember when we need to start from this retouch control let's take it like this then texture we need more texture if you want more texture you can control that i'm going to take it up and then let's leave all of this one we can turn off dodging and burning if we don't want the image blown out well let's just leave it at this initial value i'm just going to turn this place to 50 as well so let's see what happens when we click on start now i'm going to press start and it's going to start doing its thing can count you know like i said sometimes it takes less than 10 seconds sometimes it takes 10 seconds and then it's you know done that's what we're talking about okay so now uh most of the image you need you actually need to see so if i click on finish it's actually going to turn it into black and white layer i don't want to do that so i'm just going to click on close so that i can do further edit now take a look at the before look at the face take a look at after see how smooth it is so sometimes when all the color look monologue it's actually hard for you to retouch some of the places um one thing i want to point out is how it smoothens the hair for you okay and also you know the highlight is going to bring it down as well so look at how it is before so if i want to bring all of that back i can actually just click on this one like i said if we turn on the one below you're going to see where it's actually retouching see 
so let's say we want some of the details in the hand we're just going to create a mask and then make sure that this one is black and you can decrease your opacity or the flow to 60 increase the brush size and you can clean and bring back some of the texture you see okay so it's actually there so if you feel like some textures are gone you can just you know click on and bring it back so uh, i would like to bring some textures right here bring some textures from the lips now let's check the flower on her head so if if it's actually a monk so the flowers are in a monk okay so we are good with that no just take check 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 and that's what we have very very good um i would like to go to the next image which is this one and some of you actually ask is it actually possible to use it on this yeah let's take a look at the flow so we have this one we have all of this you all of this so sometimes i advise you to just you know quickly grab and remove all those bigger spots like this oh it's actually let's okay so like i said i would advise you to remove all of this take it take it out and you know just make sure those bigger ones are out and then you can run the plugin sometimes you don't need to do that it will do it for you but uh you know some some blemishes are just so stubborn that they they, they won't want to leave so like this and that's because the plugin when you run it it sees it as an important information so it won't want to clean it so let's say we have all of that gone and probably nothing else nothing else nothing else okay so now we're going to run the plugin okay we're going to run the plugin right now i'm going to bring it up so here we are with fr2 plugin and we're going to just do it so but this time i want the control to be little because it's actually a full portrait i don't want it retouching everything around i'm just going to re take the retouch control a little bit and you know maintain a lot of textures and the dodging and burning i'm going to leave it as a 50 or oh, let's take it all the way up so as to get more 3d view and just pretty much just this simple one we're going to press that and it's going to do the running so let's see what we have from all the settings like i said we can go inside the file <coughs> sorry and then we can go back and turn off some side things and it's going to actually affect the image so let's go remember this is just a jpeg and it's of low quality so that's why we are having all of this if not uh, we should have something very good so look at the face we have before and after all this skin aligned and all of this smoothing like i said you can decrease the opacity you know if you want and you can actually just create a mask and then remove it a little bit from the site for example look at this place okay let's say we if we turn off the plugin you're going to see that that place is is added to it so if some places are not added you can actually add it manually so like i said let's create a mask take the brush to and then you can clean make sure the foreground color is black and as you clean it you know merges merges everything together okay so that's for this one before after you can see okay so um one last one again so just to test the plugin this one okay i think i've i, I used this image before and some of you who haven't seen it we're so going to just do that